Hello! This poem is called Shenandoah. Betty, you can't sing so well lying down, said Brian. The supine position, you don't have it gravity to help you. Ah! <clears throat> oh, Shenandoah! Never mind the first two lines, he said. I can't even get beyond two words, said Betty. Oh, Shenandoah, I love to see you. Far away, you rolling rivers. No, said Brian. That's the second verse, but I see what you mean. It's weak, a fragile sound. Good for Sherandau, though. I'm dreaming of you. Wistful, isn't it? I had a white rabbit. I called him Shenandoah, said Betty. Did you? You remember the story? We kept him in the coal house, but the door didn't quite fit. There was an inch gap at the bottom. One night he was sleeping with his tail out and a fox bit it off. <laughs> it wasn't funny, Brian. Mum said we'd have to give it away and took it to the RSPCA. S told them we were moving and couldn't take him with us. Did you always have bad luck with animals, Betty? A budgie, maybe? No, but the neighbours did. Noddy killed their kitten. What? In front of them. In their garden. You know what terriers are like? Quick as a flash. He was always good with humans, but not animals. He killed their rabbit too. Gah! Luckily, they were away. Patrick and Gavin buried it in the woods. We told them it must have been a fox. Same one as got our Shenandoah. Oh, Shenandoah! Hmm, not too bad, Betty.